Jay Haynes for the Film Sensei channel. I've had a lot of people ask me how I do these like and subscribe signs. So if you like this video and subscribe to my channel, I'll show you. So the hardest of these videos to do was this one here, because not only did I have to put the lettering on the sign and get it all tracked, but I had to remove the lettering that was already on the sign. So this video I got from Pexels, and there's a link in the description below. You can go grab this video if you like, and feel free to follow along. We'll wait for you if you want to go and get this video. All right, so I have this video in my um, project file. I'm just going to go ahead and drag it into the Make a Composite Shot button. And here it is, and you'll notice that it uh, she just picks that sign up and then puts it back down. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to track this sign, and that is actually going to be very easy to do. I'm just going to open up uh, the properties of the video and insert a new tracker. This will move me over to the layer tab instead of the viewer tab, and it will present me with a tracking box. I'm going to zoom in here and just grab this and make it a little bigger. And then I'm going to switch this to be a double point track. And I will go ahead and make that one a little bigger also. So now I will drag this one down here roughly to there. And I will drag this one down here roughly to there. I am at the beginning of the video. And so I'm just going to move in here and just really quickly align these exactly where I want them to be. And... The reason that I am using a double point tracker is because I want to not only track the position of the sign, but also the rotation and the scale. So now that I have done that, I'm just going to hit the play forward button. And you will see that both of those points are tracking very nicely and very well. And you can see that when I am done, I will have all of the data that I need. Now she's going to drop this sign below the frame and that will cause it to stop. But at no point does it ever come back up, so I don't really care. So I'm going to go back to the viewer tab now and adding a new layer and it will be a point layer. And under the tracker, I'm going to go ahead and check rotation and scale along with the X and Y position and transform all of that data to the new point. So now you can see if I highlight the point that that point is moving along with the sign. Now you might be asking yourself, what is, are these little dots? These are the motion path of the point. It's actually showing it. And this icon right here, I can just turn that off. You can see, however, that that actually turns and rotates as the sign rotates. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to create a new box that I will put everything in here, but also I need to remove these letters. So I'm going to go ahead and start by removing the letters first. And we're going to use a, an effect that is called the clone stamp effect. What that basically does is it takes a piece of your video and it cl clone stamps it over another piece. We're going to use this piece here and we're just going to cl clone stamp it over these three words. So to do that, I need to create a new plane and click OK. And that plane I am actually just going to place in the position that I want it to be. And you'll see if I zoom in here real close that there are kind of lines here on this felt, and I just want to sort of line that up with those lines. And that may take just a little bit of effort. All right, so now you can see that I have lined those exactly on the lines. That is exactly where I want it to be. What I want to do is take this plane and parent it to the new point. That way, as the um, sign moves, that black plane will move with that sign. So this will work very nicely as my clone stamp position or spot. What I want to do is just go ahead and put that plane below. And then in the production video itself, I am going to add a clone stamp effect. I'll just double click and drop that in. Now the clone mask will be that new plane that I have, which is now will now be here. 
and I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. And now if I open up the target properties, I can drag the position down and you see it's basically just stamping that right on there. And look at how perfect that is. I mean, that looks great. I'm going to go ahead and drop the mask blur down just a little bit. And now I will just right click on that and duplicate it. And I'm going to drag it down again and maybe about right there. How's that look? Pretty good. And then I will duplicate it one more time and I will just drag it down one more time. And uh, let's go right there. Perfect. Okay. So now if I scale to fit, you can see that the sign itself has now been cleared by using a simple clone stamp effect. So now that I have done that, what I need to do is just place the words in here. To do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and make this procedural and create a new composite shot. And that composite shot, I actually want to be square. So I'm just going to make it say, by, uh, let's make it 1000 by 1000 pixels and click OK. So this composite shot, if I just hit my F2 key, I can rename the graphic and I can drag that into the main shot. You can see it there. And then what I will do is simply rescale that like this. And I will go ahead and place it in the middle here. And again, I want to make sure that it matches the lines that are available for me to see. And now that I have done that, I'm going to go ahead and parent that also to the new point. So now you can see that as the sign moves, my graphic moves. And so now whatever I put here in the graphic composite shot will show up on the sign. So for example, if I say, let's add a new text layer, then when I go back over to the main shot, you can see that it has been added directly into this video. So whatever I put in that is what is going to end up in the middle of the sign. And it doesn't have to be text. For example, I might just drag this um, Pexels logo here. And then when I come back over and now you can see that that is what is on the sign instead which is pretty cool because that way I could add anything that I really wanted it to say, doesn't matter. So in a nutshell, that's pretty much how I did it. If you like these kinds of videos, do me a favor and like this video, subscribe to the channel, click the little bell icon for notifications. I have tutorials that come out weekly. And if you have any questions, put them in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer them for you. Otherwise, thanks for watching.